In this video I would like to show you how to build simple foldings based on polygon surfaces and we start in 3D Studio Max with a really simple plane in my viewport top view and I go uh, to isolate selection and we see how we can make a folding out of this plane. The first thing we do with this um, polygon we add some segments and I will add eight segments in length direction and eight segments in width direction and I will add um, edit poly to be able to work in uh, uh, the substructure, substructure on vertex level, edge level and see what we can do with this. Okay, I copy this one and um, the first thing we see, uh, we want to look uh, on, the, uh, on the vertex level and what you can do is you can just select different kind of um, vertex points I select holding my um, my shift key always these uh, always the second uh, two vertex points and then in my GoFi modeling tools I go to loop and then I have selected every second uh, row and we can see what we can do with this really easy I can um, move the z direction and uh, here I already have a small folding and uh, 3D Studio always tries to smooth surfaces so what I normally do under properties and my graphite monitoring tools I'll change to uh, to the level hard so these will not be rendered and if I then next step add a shell modifier and give them a decent thickness uh, increase it a little bit so we can see it better then you can also already see that this is um, a simple folding with a surface. 3D Studio tries to interpolate uh, the thickness in the shadow modifier um, along the shape. If you don't want this, then you have to go to the substructure of uh, the cell function and you have to go to straighten corners to be uh, sure that it really has the thickness of your amount, uh, for example here the amount of 40 uh, centimeters. It really depends on which kind of uh, which vertices, vertices you uh, choose and probably which kind of pattern you uh, create with this. For example, I now went into my uh, graphite modeling tools and under selection I went to uh, patterns and uh, when I now again um, uh, move this into X direction you can see that it immediately gets a completely different kind of shape. Again, I choose under properties uh, hard and then you can see that it's a folded structure again. Of course you can do the same on uh, the edge level, so I can choose um, every, second, um, every second edge in the y direction and then I choose loop. And then you can see that I, see that I already chose, uh, chose uh, the loop in uh, X direction and I can move it a little bit and it's folding. Most important thing is uh, the geometry and this means uh, the topology behind the surface and we want to look at this a little bit closer. You can change uh, the topology obviously with uh, over segments with length and width and you can also just add a modifier on it. You can um, for example add the modifier tessellate and you can already see that you have a completely different uh, uh, pattern and um, here with um, faces and uh, this is a variation with, uh, uh, with polygons and you can uh, increase the iterations and these are things you can uh, do, you can uh, uh, reduce uh, the tension which makes sense so they're all uh, straight and uh, when you when when your structure is based on a pattern like this, and you add a modifier edit poly, you can then choose again vertices. I just go to the top view and will choose these vertices. Vertices here. I will choose the next guys, and this one and this line. I will move it a little bit uh, in Z direction and we want to look at this in my hard mode and then you can already see that this causes a completely different 
kind of structure. A good starting fire point for folding is also starting with a line. We just draw one rectangle shape. I will add one modifier, uh, the edit spline modifier. And if I choose segments, for example uh, the top one, I can divide it and I just divide this one by 3. And I will choose this one, uh, the lower one I divided by 4. And after this I can draw lines between. It's definitely a good idea to uh, turn on the snap uh, toggle function and have vertex uh, selected so you can um, better um, grab this point and then I can just connect this. Just connect these surface uh, vertex points and close it with my right mouse click. Now I can start to uh, fold this surface um, a little bit. I go into my um, vertex hierarchy. I choose every second vertex point, holding my shift key, and uh, deselect my snap toggles. I move these up a lot. And um, in my front view, I also move them into uh, one direction. And on the, on the other side, I just uh, select also every second uh, vertex point. I move this up a little bit. And in my front view, I move it into the opposite direction down. Okay, what we have right now is uh, one shape. It's not a polygon surface, it's actually not a surface, which I uh, distorted quite a lot. And uh, what I have to do is I have to attach one modifier. Uh, for example, I choose uh, the surface modifier to make a surface out of this. And you can see that I now have uh, a surface. You can um, define the amount of uh, steps to make it uh, more smooth or less smooth. And uh, next step, if you add one edit poly on this whole object, you can uh, work on this vertex level and here again you can see that um, we have this little shades here so I move to um, to my level hard and then you can see that this is a already a folded nicely folded surface. The last thing I would like to do is to give uh, this uh, surface again a thickness and like before I just add um, a shell modifier and uh, define a thickness, outer amount of uh, 50 and inner amount of uh, 50, so uh, 100 uh, centimeters. Very important, I have to select straight corners uh, so that this is really a thickness of altogether 100 centimeters.